Back in the kitchen, our chefs are digging deep to deliver a winning main course. For his complex main, Daniel's cooking roast pork fillet with black pudding puree, creamed cabbage and cider sauce. Yes, I go for a hell of a lot of stress and uh, I upset myself, but at the end of the day, it's the best dish on the menu. It's going to blow his faggots totally out of the water. With so many elements, Daniel will be working to the wire. I just hope all the hard work's going to pay off. The pork, uh, I'd say, is your strongest dish. You know, and I've got the faggots, which I was confident until, uh, until today, really. Why are you not confident today? Uh, I don't know, it's that little bit of doubt creeps in, you know. Okay. Is it too simple? I don't think it is. is I think it... it's, a, it's a nice dish. I just think, for me, it's, a, it's a more of a wintry dish. That's my personal opinion. Are you confident about going through? Are you confident about beating me? Well, beating you? Yeah. The dishes are stronger. A competitive Daniel's making the most of Glynn's wavering confidence. Daniel's very clever. He's, uh, he's coming across very intimidating. The reason is he's obviously quite insecure because if this dish doesn't do what he hopes, the fall is tremendous. Daniel's dish is ready to go. The black pudding puree is joined by pork belly and shallots. Next, Daniel fills his potato cannelloni with braised shoulder and apple and tops with cold shallot and apple foam. Then it's the rolled pork fillet and crackling. Yeah, let's go. Hold on. So will Daniel's confidence in his roast pork be shared by the judges? It's beige, isn't it? It's a study in beige. Oh, wait a minute, we got some hair. We need some gravy. Would you like to help yourself? Yes. True. That sauce is outstanding, actually. Very it's a, well it's, it's very good sauce. You know. I know, when I first tasted it, I thought, this is toffee sauce, it, it's too sweet. Mm. But when you eat it with the pork, it's perfect. Now, what's this cylinder here? Apple mm. and braised pork. Braised shoulder, I would guess. The apple and the braised pork are just sensational. I think the fillet's outstanding, and I think it works extremely well with the cabbage. Mm. I, I don't actually think I've ever had pork that tender. I think there's a lot of actually wonderful meaty pleasure. This most people would find this wonderfully acceptable and delicious. From my point of view, I think it is rather old-fashioned in terms of presentation. But within this, I think there's a lot of pleasure. The problem is when you're thinking about these things, which he's obviously thought about it very well and everything else. It just needed a bit of humour to lift it up. He's being a very serious chef. Yeah. He obviously is a very serious chef. Yeah. But that brings us to perhaps too serious. You know, this is a party. So, colourful comments for Daniel's main course. 